Well, what's up guys? Welcome back to Sherwood. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, um, we're doing something with the i8. Before we get into that, I do want to talk about the M5. So it was supposed to be an M5 video yesterday. You guys can see I, I'm one video delayed. And uh, yeah, that was supposed to be a video yesterday. It was supposed to be the M5 video. And I, we did some stuff on the M5. Long story short, the sensor that we ordered, um, it came in as the wrong sensor. It came in as the other crankshaft sensor. We needed the, the other one. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to send that one back. I placed an order for an overnight this morning. So hopefully by tomorrow, we should get in the new sensor. And hopefully in the next video, we should be able to do the M5 sensor replacement and give it a good crank. That is obviously the goals. I'm hoping to God that's actually going to happen and the car turns over. Because if it turns over, we're going to have a big build on our hands. I'm super excited for that. But if it doesn't, uh, we're still going to try to figure it out. But right now, I'm in the i8. I haven't been in the i8 for a very long time. Honestly, I kept it in the garage because I didn't want to put too much miles on it, to be honest. And it kind of sounds stupid to say, but I, I put about 6,000 miles on it in about four to five months. And I think that's absolutely insane for a car like this. You don't want to put too much miles. And I put like more mileage I'll put on this car than any of my other cars I've ever done before. So I need to kind of chillax on this car. I've been enjoying the truck recently, believe it or not. It's actually a really fun experience to drive up high. That F-150 is actually pretty luxurious. So I actually like that truck. But anywho, I'm going to take this down to the dealership and uh, see how much they're going to charge you it for its 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 maintenance. So the car is saying it needs its maintenance right now. So I'm like, obviously, when with every, every other BMW, I just do the maintenance myself and I'll just reset it myself. But for this car, um, it's saying it needs the maintenance. And for these kind of cars, when it comes time to ever want to sell them, if it doesn't show that the maintenance has been done by a dealer, it just kind of looks sketchy. It's like, hmm, there's somebody fix their eye in their garage. Like, it doesn't sound right. So I want to get everything done to BMW. I'm just wondering how much they would charge me to maintain this thing. So we are heading down. Hopefully, wish me luck, guys. I don't have to spend an arm and a leg to just do the maintenance on this guy. I, just, just pray for me. Pray for me. Please, God. guys just dropped off the ia for some service so if you have the neat cars here like an m2 competition there's a couple four series over there which looks pretty awesome this is one green over there looks pretty cool but oh my gosh she needs a wash as well definitely needs a wash i hope they wash it for me i don't know i really hope they do though it's just a casual super right there so i'm actually walking away from bmw it's right back there i'm heading to ford <laughs> not ford but le schwab which is right next to ford uh we're just getting the truck realigned so i had an alignment done on it and it's getting realigned uh, before i actually get into any of this stuff i am walking so i might as well get into all the stuff that's currently with the channel you guys need some updates you know so the primary update right now is uh the carly giveaway so for those of you guys who enter the carly giveaway i will be announcing it pretty much uh in i think tomorrow video on my second channel so make sure to check out save BMW down below if you guys haven't entered yet enter down there it's completely for free and I'll be announcing the winner on the second channel tomorrow so stay tuned also the i8 is getting service and the reason I wanted to get all the services done I did the spark plugs the cabin air filter oil change I'm doing everything right now reason being I'm pretty much gonna be tuning it and putting an exhaust on it pretty soon so I was like you know what might as well get all the maintenance done and then we're gonna get a valve tronic exhaust on the car so I spoke to Austin and Austin told me you know what I can I can work with you and pretty much send you out an exhaust if if you guys can help them get to a certain subscriber goal which i cannot say just yet but if you guys can go down below and just click on valvetronics youtube channel they have a lot of exhausts for a bunch of different cars and they actually just came out one for the g80 they're already on top of the game and they came out the valvetronic for the g80 which is absolutely insane check out his channel down below guys and subscribe to his channel i think he wants 5,000 subscribers so if you guys can just go subscribe to his channel he will be sending us an i8 full valvetronic exhaust which will sound absolutely insane i think we'll have the loudest i8 on youtube and then as soon as you put on the exhaust i got a tune from Aventuri. so uh i think it's gonna be pretty insane i think it's gonna be one of the craziest i8 you guys have ever seen so yeah guys check out valvetronic down below without further ado let's head down to le schwab and uh hopefully pick up our truck and hopefully the alignment is good to go guys Literally in the walk to BMW to Le Schwab, I already met three of you guys stopping by on the road. That's kind of crazy. I've never actually had anything like that happen before. So you shout out to you guys who are reaching out. <laughs> Thank you all so much for the support. For those of you guys that actually say something when you see me, it means the absolute world. And it just keeps reminding me why I do what I do. So again, I love you all so much. And uh, we're almost we're almost to Le Schwab. Here's Ford right here. I would have taken it to Ford, but um, I was like, you know what? Le Schwab, they have that warranty where once you do an alignment, 
they give you a warranty. So the shop is literally across the street from Ford. So went ahead and got it done there. About a mile later, <laughs> we almost made it to Le Schwab. BMW literally said we could drop you off, but I was like, you know what? I gotta lose some calories. You guys know that even though probably today is not the best day, Ramadan Mabotic to everyone who is fasting right now. So I am fasting and I am walking, but uh, it is what it is. Trying to burn them calories. Just got the papers back and hopefully they realigned it properly. So I came back for a warranty alignment on this thing. And because uh, I did pay for an alignment last month, but it went off again. So I'm hoping they fixed it. So far it looks straight. So hopefully it stays straight, guys. That is the cutest thing ever. Look at that little bird. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see him just chilling. Oh, there you go. Okay. All right. He dipped. He dipped. <laughs> so our next mission now that we got the truck now that we dropped off the i8 let's head down to AutoZone because i actually had to recharge the battery that was in the m5 because the battery died on us because we kept on trying to crank it but obviously the, the car couldn't charge it because it never turned on so let's go ahead and get our new battery i also did call fcp euro and they said hopefully we should get this, the sensor by thursday so hopefully i'll be able to get the next video out for you guys on this on cranking that m5 i'm super 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 excited just to hear that thing crank over and if it cranks over over that little sensor i'll be so happy if it doesn't we might have to take it down to show motors or some other guy and uh, try to figure it out but wish me luck guys any anyway, let's go get that battery back at AutoZone boys just got the recharge battery boys let's head back when I mean head back I mean like let's wait till they call me from BMW we're just gonna be chilling till uh, they get the car from BMW because we can't eat we can't eat we're fasting so we're gonna have to wait you guys know how it is I'll let you guys know when we're picking up the i8 and I'll let you guys know how much the service would have cost if it wasn't coming under the warranty but huge special shout out to BMW for even letting me know because that's prepared to pay for it but they didn't want to screw me over. They straight up said, you got a warranty, buddy. We can fulfill it. Do you want everything? And I was like, sure, sure. Because I, I was actually, I was going there for an oil change and a spark plug change. And I bought my own spark plugs too. And um, they said it's due for an oil change, spark plugs, and cabin air filter. And uh, basically, I was like, oh, man, I can't really afford the cabin air filter for now. Let's just do the <laughs> spark plugs and oil change. And I'll do the cabin filter later. And they said, it's all coming underneath the warranty. And I was like, hmm, okay, well, let's just do it all right now. I, I would have done the cabin air filter myself. Because I don't think it really matters to have that on a Carfax, the cabin air filter i would have just done that myself but in terms of the oil change and the spark plugs i wanted them to do it so i'm just so happy that was warranty work i got a free recharged battery and we just got a free realignment on the truck today's a really good free day and guys this is the next morning i'm here with the i8 and they absolutely cleaned it up i'm super 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 thankful that they did that and also super happy they actually told me that i have the warranty and got all that work done uh, for free, so that's pretty awesome. So for those of you guys who wanted a price breakdown on how much this thing pretty much cost me for taking it for my first maintenance change at BMW, it didn't cost me anything, thankfully, because I got it from BMW, but if you guys got it from anywhere else, you guys will probably have to pay for the, the annual or the, the semi-annual maintenance. So for six months of ownership, it required an oil change, spark plug change, and cowl air filter. So I went ahead and got all those replaced. It would have cost $600, $120 for the oil change, which is not bad, $360 for the spark plugs, which is also not too crazy, but then you have to also remember there's only three spark plugs on this car and then another 120 for the cabin air filter so in total six hundred dollars which is actually pretty good if you guys think about an exotic car six hundred dollars for every six months of ownership that's really not that bad plus if you guys want to bring that cost down even more the cabin air filter is super easy don't need to take it down to a dealership no one really cares if that's on the car packs or not so take off like 120 literally 20 dollars on a filter oem filter and that saves you 100 bucks and on top of that in terms of the spark plugs they sell you the spark plugs $40 each you can buy it online for $20 each so you can save yourself $60 just on the spark plugs bring them the spark plugs and they'll do the installation and everything and again that will also be on the car fax so you could be saving another 180 right there so in total you'll be only be paying like 420 semi annually to own this car for those guys are also asking in terms of gas how is it in fuel economy so I actually only fill this up like once a month if I put about like a thousand miles on the car that month which is actually insane so like once or twice that month and it's only about $30 to fill up which is crazy because it gets 60 miles per gallon so uh yeah it almost it, it's, it's crazy to think they only have to pay 30 bucks to 60 bucks a month to drive this car and on top of that on the forums i've never seen anybody really complain in terms of reliability on this car it's actually a very 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 reliable car which is actually one of the reasons i picked this as my first exotic rather than any other car because it is a bmw first stop you guys know it's a bmw channel but also it's very 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 reliable very fuel efficient and it's still fun to drive and i love the doors and i love the way it looks 
after especially all the carbon modifications you guys are seeing the build I think the car looks absolutely insane we're still gonna be doing so many things to this car and tuning a tune a tune from a Venturi which is absolutely insane we're also gonna do a Valtronic exhaust full exhaust on this car um, so that's also gonna sound and look insane we're gonna do installing it ourselves and all that good stuff so I'm super 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 excited for that but the way to get Valtronic to hook us up on the exhaust and basically send it out to us for for this, please support your man and just go down to Valtronics. It's gonna be the first link in the description. Go subscribe to his channel. I think he wants to get 5,000 subscribers. So just go subscribe to his channel, support his channel. Dude, they do absolutely insane exhaust systems. I absolutely love it. I had it on my 435. I love this so much. I also had it on my 535, which unfortunately we didn't get to do much to that car. I sold it pretty quickly because I got a good offer on it and I kind of let it go. That's my fault. But a Valtronic exhaust on this, like pretty much full straight pipe and then Valtronic would be absolutely insane. You get to really imagine the pops this thing's gonna have. So a lot of people have actually never seen this thing even with an exhaust. I saw like a video or two from Valtronic. They actually modified another IA and it was sounded so good I feel like it'll be the craziest one on YouTube if we can make this happen on top of that even tune the car so we could be pushing up some bigger numbers and possibly take this down to the track and just you know see what it can do so if you guys are excited for that make sure to smash that like button support your boy check out Valtron down below and yeah guys ultimately if you guys want to buy this car it's just a down payment and it's just the monthly payments after that if you guys pretty much get it paid off Ownership is not too bad. It, currently, mine has about 44,000 miles. Um, I bought it with 38. I put about 6,000 miles on it since the six months, about 1,000 miles a month. So I've been driving the car, and it's been very, very, very good to me, thankfully. Hopefully, fingers crossed, and knocked on some wood, but uh, yeah, thankfully, everything's been pretty good. Without further ado, guys, let me know, guys. Would you guys get an i8? Do you guys like the way the i8 came together? Let me know down below, but without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.